Uh, question number three. Uh, if you were a music teacher, what era or decade would you start from? <sighs> I would start now, like the last decade, 2000 to 2010, and I move backwards, uh, sort of explaining where the music from today comes from, and move back further, move back further, move back further, until you come towards the blues or something like that. I would probably do that. I wouldn't just pick one era and play that to them. I would just start now and work back, not work forward from the classical era to now. I probably even would just pick a piece of now, a, music, a piece of music from now, and put next to it a piece of music from the classical era, or the 60s just to compare the two. It's like, see, they are using methods that were used way back when music started. So I'd probably do that, but, or I could work backwards, like I said. Question number four. Five bands or artists that were able to carry on successfully. Uh, I, I told, uh, I said this in an update from uh, Mr. Hallfame that I'm not too I, I don't, how do I say this, I don't really pay much attention to the backstories of the bands in my collection, so I cannot answer this question uh, at all, actually. Uh, I, I don't know, I, I, I don't have any Metallica, so I could, can't say Metallica, because they had you know, people dying on them and people leaving them, and they are still successful, but I just am not a big Metallica fan. Uh, probably R.E.M. That's just from the top of my head, that's something that I could mention. Uh, with, uh, I think, Peter Buck leaving the band, uh, and they are still R.E.M. They're still, you know, an amazing big band. They are still carrying on successfully. So that is my answer, it's just R.E.M. Can't mention anymore, sorry about that. I can show you this last six albums I've played, and these, uh, like, uh, played from A to B, A to C, A to Z. First one, it's 666 by Aphrodite's Child. Uh, I, I basically pop this album in just every once in a while. It is an amazing prog rock album. If you don't have it, you must get it. It's, it's really good. It's uh, at moments really dark and at moments like really like groovy and funny and entertaining. Uh, yeah, Four Horsemen is the standout track of this album. The rest is just as good. It's a double album, so it takes a long listen actually. This is the second one that I've been playing for the last couple of weeks. It's Poe Through the Glass Prison by Glass Prison, which I think is one of the best, uh, how do you say it? Gee. Ah, I forgot. Anyway, it's, it's, uh, it's an album just with poems by Edgar Allan Poe. Concept album, that's what I wanted to say. Damn it. I just love this album. This is such a great album. Uh, this is from 1969. It's still psychedelic, but a little more rocky. I just love it. It has great poems by Edgar Allan Poe, and they are just put to music and done really, really well. So that's another one that I've been listening to. Then Lloyd Cole and the Commotions, Rattlesnakes. Uh, this remains a really classic album. 80s, like pop, how 80s pop can also sound, you know, they can sound electronic, they can sound like futuristic, but they can also sound down to earth, like this group, like this guy and his backing group did. Okay. That's what I've been listening to. Um, because I showed uh, Lee Hazelwood in uh, Mr. Hoff Fame's questions and answer thing. I also played this record, Love and Other Crimes by Lee Hazelwood. Uh, this is another 
another really good Lee Hazelwood album. Uh, it's got uh, Morning Dew on it, which I love. And the whole album is just really that good. I love it. Then I've also been playing Ian McCulloch's uh, Candleland, which I believe is, uh, uh, you know, uh, for his death, for his father who died. And it's pretty good. You know, it's it's not as good as uh, the Echo and the Bunny Man stuff he did, but it's still really really good. Great songs. Just great. He's got a great voice, that's just it. Uh, everything he sings just sounds good. And I love it. And the last album I listened to is Swell Maps in Jane from Occupied Europe. Uh, I have the double LP version. And this is just such a really, really good uh, punk rock group from, from the UK. They, they have everything in it, you know, they have experimental bits, they have like these jumpy songs in it, and they have just like rocking punk tracks on it. So this is a really great album, and this is what I've been listening to, and this has been my, these has been, these have been my answers. <sighs> I should learn more English, sorry about that. So. Uh, Hope you uh, enjoyed these answers. Bye-bye.